What is going on, everybody? This is Sean with Face Down, and I'm with the lead singer of the Crumbums. And you, sir? Mr. David Tejas in Denver, Colorado, hanging out with my homies. Excellent, man. Uh, you guys put on one hell of a show. We came out here for a good kick ass punk rock show, and by God damn it, you guys did it for us. Thank you, thank you. This is always like one of the best like stops for us. Like we've been excited the past few days just to get back here. So it was a great show. Yeah, I haven't heard any uh, recent new stuff from you guys. Are you guys working on a new album? We just had one come out um, on the twenty seventh. Uh, it's called Cut the News, and it's on People Like You Records. Excellent. Um, I didn't come up with the with this idea, but I, I figured I would bring it up. Uh, Liam from the Cancer Bats. Oh, uh, yeah. He's a pretty pretty decent friend of ours. Every time he comes in town, he asks us to come take pictures of him. Yeah. Uh, he was uh, saying we should try to get the ultimate sh you know, punk show would be the Cancer Bats, the Casualties, and the Crumbums. Oh, man. That's always a blast. Like, uh, we were in, like, uh, about a year ago, we were all together in Canada, and it's just too much too much fun all of us together those guys the cancer bats are crazy their live performance is just insane and you put the three bands together and it's a it's a fucking blast there's nothing else you can say about that but just pure energy everybody believes in what they're doing and um rocking it out and what are your views on being a uh, punk rocker in modern day society that's it's a weird thing it's kind of like um, being a samurai in the days when it changed. You're still going around and people are looking at you like, aren't you over this? Aren't you done? It's like, no, I'm not done at all. And I'm not ever going to be done. And, you know, a lot of my friends, it doesn't have to do with what we look at. It's, you know, in here. And it's like uh, those people that are done with it and tell me they're over it, you never were part of it, so I don't consider you part of us. Yeah, you may be an acquaintance and a friend, but you're not part of my group, and I don't believe in you. <laughs> Good answer. Um, anything crazy going on with this tour? Um, yeah, we're out with Toxic Holocaust and Holy Grail, and it's um, like a seven-week tour, and it's just been smash, 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 and... Uh, you know, the normal things, we're driving to a friend's house after the show in Houston, and I don't even know what happened, but this car hit another car and then flipped at us like a, like a fucking Mel Gibson movie. But, you know, those, those are normal things on tour. I'm, like, sitting in the van just hanging out, and I look over to the side, and I see a truck with cinder blocks, and then one cinder block just bounces off, hits the ground, the fucking thing's this big, and hits the metal part right above the window, but right at my head. But those are, I mean, they're normal tour things, but and you become so desensitized, you're like, ooh, well, that was weird. But like, <laughs> like a normal person would be like, oh my God, oh my God, it almost killed me. But you're like, ooh, crazy, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely an insane, man. Uh, like I said, you guys put on a killer show. This is actually my first time actually seeing you guys live. I've been trying to catch you guys live for years. I grew up on punk and ska, and um, you know we own our own uh, you know pr uh, promotion group, and we do worldwide booking and so forth. But yeah. most of the bands that have been contacting us have been metal and yeah. you know and stuff like that. I'm trying to bring some punk and ska bands into it, rockabilly stuff like that, you know, because that's where my roots are. Yeah. Um, you know, so I mean, you guys did a really good job live. Great, thank you. And I think um, this tour with us has been really, um, really great, great with Toxic Holocaust and Holy Grail because Holy Grail is like totally 80s rad metal. Just hairs just going in a circle, and then you have Toxic Holocaust, who's just you know thrash. So it's 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 a lot of fun because we'll have like these total hair dudes that normally would not talk to us just they've got the perfect vest with the patches doo -doo 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 -doo, the long hair and they'll come up and go like man i fucking hate punk rock but we had a good time watching you tonight and at first in, in some ways it's like you want to go uh thanks but you know they 
they really do care. So it's it's a cool thing. Yeah, it's it's kind of like uh, the show with Guar and Fernie and Mobile Death Camp and the Casualties. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody loved each other. It was actually I think it's great. Yeah, and I think there's a good uh, resurgence of all this of us all coming from the same roots. Like, I mean, we all love old Metallica. Who fucking doesn't? Of course, nobody likes Reloaded and all that shit. But, you know, it's just um, everybody, their backgrounds are all connecting and saying, you know, who gives a fuck? Let's, let's connect and let's go out there and rock out and try to, try to put some type of unity to this. And uh, we're having a great time doing it. Excellent. If you guys have not checked out the Crimbums or not even heard of the Crimbums, you guys definitely need to fucking listen to them. These guys put on a hell of a performance here in Denver. Definitely looking forward to them coming back. Face Down is out of here, and I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you, brother. See you guys next time.